Hi, it's Dwyer. It's April 10th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk one of the best looking prospects in the sport. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me be clear here. I believe the best prospect in the world of boxing is Virgil Ortiz. I think Ortiz is very rare. Excellent jab, a lot of power, two-handed, committed to taking out your body, can operate up close, can operate from distance. Now I noticed that after Ortiz's last fight, where he took out a former champion, Terence Crawford, arguably the best in the sport pound for pound, uh, felt a need to talk about how Ortiz wasn't yet ready to fight him, right? Um, I don't buy it. I think that smoke from a champion who hopes that a young lion gets picked off by someone else, right? Understand Crawford is at that stage in his career where he's looking for big paydays. You're 33, you're a welterweight, you know you're on borrowed time. So he's talking about fighting Manny Pacquiao, right? He's looking for big game. He's not looking for young lions. Uh, a Virgil Ortiz, Terrence Crawford fight right now, folks, would be extremely interesting, right? Let's remember that Crawford got dropped recently by a fighter. Ironically, that's the fighter Crawford wants Ortiz to fight. Welcome to politics and boxing. Well, another guy who should be on your very short list of the best prospects in the sport is Jaron Ennis. I have highlights for Mr. Ennis in my favorites folder here. This guy is the total package, right? Power, he's a knockout puncher. Speed, fearlessness, right? He's big for his division. He's fluid. He's a decorated guy from the amateur ranks. In other words, this guy's been proven. He hasn't just shown up on the scene. He's unbeaten after a great amateur history. And of course, when you look on film, the lateral movement comes naturally to him. You wonder how a guy can hit as hard as this guy hits and be as fluid as this guy is. But there is a cause for concern. Whenever I see a tall guy leaning into the pocket to throw body shots, to me that gives a little bit of an opening to hard-hitting opponents. In other words, Ennis, who's overwhelmed his opposition, right? He's that dominant. But of course, it's early in his career. He's overwhelmed his opposition. But Ennis is a guy who thinks he is so dominant that he can literally set up shop in the pocket. When I see a tall fighter and he's leaning forward, that's a recipe for disaster. Especially when you're fighting a world-class opponent. Now Lipinets, the opponent, is going off at 8 plus 850. I believe Ennis wins the fight. This fight to me is unbettable. As I said before, I think Ennis wins the fight, but I'm not gonna pay a minus 1800, which is what you have to pay on the Ennis side of the bet. The bet I'm looking at, what I'm gonna speculate on, it's throw away money, right? You need part of your betting portfolio as money you expect to lose but the odds are too tempting. The value side of the play here is on the fighter I think loses the fight. Lipinets. You're getting a plus 850. Right? If you bet $1, you win $8.50 back plus the return of your $1. 
Lipinets has only lost to one fighter, and I believe that fighter is an obvious Hall of Famer. That fighter is a multi-divisional champion, Mikey Garcia. Right? Lipinets doesn't have a lot of head movement. He's there to brawl with you. He's not defensively blessed. I agree with all of that criticism. But my goodness, this guy hits hard. Right? The way to beat Lipinets is to be able to operate outside of the pocket. You don't want to trade with this guy. Right? Quite frankly, Lipinets hits as hard as anyone. You don't want to trade with this guy. Rather, what you want to do is outbox this guy and use your leg speed, your foot speed, to move away from the guy. I get the feeling Jaron Ennis, who wants to put on a show, who has an extremely high KO percentage, is going to dare fate. I believe he's going to be close to the pocket because that's his DNA, right? He moves well, he's fluid, but I believe a guy like this, right? Extreme Alpha. I believe a guy like this is going to test himself. There's going to be a moment here where he's going to want to do better than Mikey Garcia did against Lippinets. He's going to want to come in, he's going to want to land shots. Now, we might do so in spectacular fashion, right? With Ennis, anything's possible. He might get a KO that makes the highlight real, right? But if you know a prohibitive favorite like Ennis is going to be around the pocket against a puncher like Lipinets, who's there for a fight, not a boxing match, then I think the plus 850 is worth it. I expect to lose this bet. I myself have Ennis on my very short list of the best prospects in boxing. I expect to lose. But I have a price. We all do. Whether we know it or not. And if the casino is going to give me a plus 850 on a world-class fighter who's only lost to Mikey Garcia... I'm going to take it. I'll be the casino's huckleberry. So, this is a speculation play. I expect to lose. I've put a little money on Lipinets because the plus 850 is downright ridiculous. Understand what a plus 850 means. It's eight and a half to one. They're telling you that if these guys fought nine and a half times, Lipinets would only win once. Understand, these odds would be ridiculous against Terence Crawford. I know Ennis, in boxing circles, is very highly thought of. Right? But he's not yet champion. I like Lipinets here. Expect to lose. I like Lipinets as a speculation at plus 850. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Lipinet certainly is going to be throwing very hard shots, trying to catch the taller Ennis in the body. The question is whether Ennis is going to be smart and stay outside behind a jab. He has the skill set. He has the back foot. Whether Ennis is going to fight this, win a decision, right? Stay outside. Play it safe or whether Ennis is going to actually try to trade with this guy, right? Unbeaten fighters start to feel that they're more special than they are. Start to feel that they're a paradigm shift in the sport. Right? The question is, does Ennis's ego allow him to win this fight comfortably on his back foot? We'll find out you give me a plus 850, I'm going to take it. Because I know Lipinets is here to win. And I also know a plus 850 underestimates his ability to win this fight. I expect him to lose, but I'm not going to cry if the plus 850 hits. I think the value side of the play here is Lipinets. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. 
I look forward to your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.